Hello, everyone. You know, we always start, always start vlogs like this. Like, I'm standing behind you, and you're, you're talking to the camera. We just switch it up some time, be like, be in the bathroom or something. <laughs> Come on, everybody. This is stupid. <laughs> We found an American Chinese food restaurant. Don't judge us. We're gonna go try that out. Uh, just for something different. And... Because Chinese food in the U.S. is not Chinese food. Okay, so no. you guys didn't know that. Okay. Panda Express is not Chinese now, food. Now, if you think that's Very Chinese food, it. we can't be friends. Um, well, you get the actual Chinese food, and you're like, this is not what well, we like Well, and we've done the traditional Chinese, like, love, Szechuan food. So when we visit China, we can't wait to eat that. But sometimes you just need that American Chinese. So we're going to give it a shot. It has mixed reviews. So we're going to try that. We'll show you. So basically, we're going to take you along on our day of just playing in Bangkok. And then tomorrow and the next day, We'll have some things a little more planned more out. More we'll traditional leave earlier. Bangkok. <laughs> more touristy things. This is too, but this is not like this is new Bangkok. We'll show you old Bangkok tomorrow. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's go. In case anybody was wondering what Bangkok sounds like, that's pretty much it. We hear nothing but ambulance sirens 24/7. I have heard hundreds. And I'm not exaggerating. Hundreds of ambulances going by our apartment. I have not seen one fire truck, not one. I don't know why that is. So this is one of the fancier sky train lines I've ever been in. They actually have doors. They don't usually have doors. new things we've not seen before like it's insane how much there is to choose from like what do you pick I have no idea That's my sort of thing. All right, guys. 
We have eaten. We have the noodles. Now it's time for the cookies. Can I get an A, man? Are you excited about this? Well, we only got one because Ben's cookies is 75 baht for one, which is almost $3. So this better be the best cookie we've ever had. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Not worth, not worth $2 though, but it's not that good. It looks good. Look how big and fat it is. They have this thing I've never seen before called a cookie puff. I'll try that too. <laughs> I asked him, I said, do you want Ben's cookies or cookie puffs? And all he said was, yes. Got our cookie puff. It's kind of weird on the back. Oh, I was expecting that. It's weird. So we only got one because, you know, we healthy. Stuff that's, that's that's Thailand. That's exclusive to Thailand that you can't get anywhere else. So I see a lush after six months, and then they have things I can't buy other places, so I can't help it. But look, it's heaven for some people. Any of you guys know me in real life know that this is Candyland for me. So I've been in desperate need of some mascara. So I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go in and pay the prices. Turns out, it was only $2 more. But I do kinda wanna show you guys something funny about this. So it says, better than love. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that you find in the States. Thailand, they changed it to better than love. So I thought that was kinda funny. They changed the name. They censor it. Censor it, but. Anyway, I got the waterproof because we're sweating and it's hot, but amazing. And I also found the Sephora cleansing milk. This is amazing, and they stopped selling it in the States about a year, year and a half ago. And so I'm really excited I found this. So because I shop at Sephora all the time, I know the differences. So mascara, only $2 more. This, only $3 more. So I didn't have to pay shipping. Got it over here, and I only had to pay $5. So it's amazing. Okay guys, if you wanna shop, you do it in Bangkok. This is what we're learning. Like the shopping here is next level. This building is one of three. So it's called the Siam, they have Siam Par, Par, I think it's, what was the first one? They have like the Siam Paragon, Siam Center, and now Siam Discovery. There are three buildings side by side, all six stories. That's 18 floors of shopping. And it's down the street from the biggest mall. From here, we're headed to MBK, which is actually the largest mall in Bangkok. There's 2,000 stores, so I thought this was big. Our feet are already tired, and now we gotta do this now. I know, my like, I need There's mall day. Everywhere you go, if you can't walk like 500 feet without hitting a mall. Yeah. Well, and Amazing. that's where all the grocery stores are, so if you want to buy food like that, you have to go to the mall. That's just the way they do it. So behind me here, that is the SkyTrain. That's what we rode to get here. It's like a quadruple, like, Decker <laughs> thing. There's also over here, too. Yeah, that's another here. Like, four lines intersecting. They're everywhere. Wow. This is, like, the intersections. Well, where we are right now is, like, the intersection of two lines, and so that's why they, they do that. But Directly behind me here is the mall that we were talking about. This is all three Siam malls right here, one after the other. To my right right here is Bangkok Arts and Culture Center, which is actually a modern art museum that looks incredible. And then over here is MBK, which is the biggest mall. So you literally don't have to get on the street. You just walk from one to the other to the other. So we literally got off the SkyTrain, went to the Siam Center, and then everything from here. Never had to get back on the street. It's pretty cool.
started at the big, the big mall, MBK mall, and had had dinner, had some Japanese uh, curry, some tonkatsu, which is like fried pork tenderloin, and rice and miso soup. And now we're gonna go back and see you get get some. I'm gonna try to get my eyebrows threaded. See. This place is huge. It's so kind of like the craft bazaar area of the mall. There's like a hundred stalls here just selling like knockoff things like that. And also various Buddhas and things behind me. Um, but yeah, all kinds of stuff here. Closes at nine o'clock. At ten o'clock technically, but everybody's closing out at nine o'clock. So I think it's just depending on how busy it is. Okay, guys. We're throwing in the towel. <laughs> There's too much. I mean, look how far back this thing goes. I mean, there are seven floors of this. So, we're throwing in the towel. Sky train and then home. It's funny, you can walk around all day. We, we used to, we did it when you were in Vietnam and got our sea legs about us, you know, we were able to walk all the time. But when you don't walk a lot, you try to walk a lot again, it's rough on your feet. It's painful. So, tomorrow uh, we're having massages. We're gonna, yeah, today we're getting massages, but managed to wear right pants. And sometimes, <laughs> So if you wear, okay, pro tip, so if you wear long pants that are tight, they can change into like their own provided like sweatpant type things. But sometimes, it's embarrassing if you're in Asia, uh, yeah, they're a little tight. So uh, we only had one or two that, that uh, fit us at all times we done massages. So, so I like to wear the appropriate pant wear. So we gotta go home, we gotta point out the day just because of her pants and go get the massages. Oh, tomorrow. stop it. That's true. He's tired too, so we're gonna go home we're gonna collect ourselves, plan out tomorrow, and then we'll have another cool video coming. Yep. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoyed today's vlog. It's kind of a different one. Let's walk around malls and things, but it's still kind of fascinating. Just so you see what it's like. There are a ton of malls here. So one thing you want to go shop, do shopping, Bangkok is the place to do it. For sure. Uh, I can verify that 100. percent Absolutely. Can I do this in reverse order? Um, we just got the best massage. We've been here twice. Um, so we're right now we're in Fortune Town, which is right across from Grand Central or Central Plaza Rama Nine. I went to sleep. I don't here, be here before, and it was a great, it's a great massage. Uh, it's a hundred. We took home. It's a hundred and fifty baht for an hour long foot massage. We've had we've had at least what 15, 20 of these. We've been in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, best one hands down. There's a whole row. I'll show you here. Um, of the, all of the massage places, but this place is awesome. And while we're doing that, we're done here. Amanda's drinking her nice tea they give you after you're done. Um, it's great. It's great. Um, have, so if you want to do tight pants, they have, actually have plus size pants for you to wear instead um, that, that, that fit us. So we'll have pants on today. We're going to spare. So they don't judge you here with other places. Um, they kind of, kind of funny because they don't see us. They're bigger, but. Uh, awesome people recommend coming get a massage here at Siam. So, so that's amazing. Absolutely best. And we always make sure I give it to you because they deserve it when they work on you for an hour and they are just in. So tip them. They appreciate it and they deserve it. Sing here is the receptionist for Siam Open and he is amazing. He also speaks good English. And he speaks Mandarin, and he speaks Thai, and he speaks Khmer, and he <laughs> Spanish maybe too. Yeah, see, he does everything. Yes, it's a bad ever medical service at Massage. If you receive an entire holiday, it's coming to really get it's very nice. Yeah, it's one of the best places we've been, and it's cheap. 150 baht, we'll translate that or convert that. That's that's awesome. So when you see him, say hi, and he'll take you where you need to go. <laughs>